Do you hate it when you're in the middle of a dungeon and you can't sell your items, but you have too many? Hey. Have we got the product for you? Hey, look at that, and I got my next one, too. Sweet. Um, no, I, I do. I I hate when you're stuck in the dungeon and your bag's full and there's nothing you can do about it. Although there was one game, there's a couple that have done it since, that had this great option where you had a pet that went with you. Torchlight started, or it was one of the ones that started it. Um, and, and I love that feature where you can just put your items that you want to sell into their bag and then send them out. There was another game, not Torchlight, but but another game besides that that started um, um, started you off with a pet. I can't remember what it's called. Star uh, Kodar does that too. Kodar has the companions, um, and you can send them off to sell it, crazy well, stuff too. I don't think attacking the slime is going to do. You don't too know much that. For you. you don't know. Um, yeah, Knights of the Old Republic had that. Uh, Still do. Star Wars The Old Republic has that, which I intend to do uh, Coder at some point on the channel, but I don't know if I want to do it by myself with Clockworks or with you. I haven't decided yet. Yay, goal completed. I know that we got a request to do more Torchlight, and since Clockworks was not a fan of that when we were recording the last time, it might have been because he was tired. That could be. Uh, but since He's he was, a very finicky kitty. He is, he is. Um, but since he didn't seem to be too much of a fan of it the last time we played, I'm probably gonna grab you and have have it be a you and I, because I need more series where, and I can't even say it's like a my mom plays because you like. Oh games. look at that! I got distance now. Oh fuck yeah! You can just pew people from less qq -Q, more pew pew. These poor bats. I want to take one home. I know. I want to plushie. There's, uh, I'll, I'll show you in a second, but one of those vendors that I was talking about, when you get X amount, uh, they have a backpack, and it's shaped like those bat things, but it looks like it was made from, like, 40 different pieces of fabric yeah. or bats, and it even mentions that that, that, that bag smells bad. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is another thing I love about the game. When, obviously, when you go in the store, they're like, oh, you must be level this. Uh, so right. as you level up, it will actually show you what you're able to get now. That's awesome. Or what you're able to use. And from, from right, and so forward. you can click on it. And you can actually buy it from this window as well. Oh, you want the wooden rice hat. And that's the third comment I've made in a video that was a little bit racist. And it all revolves around Asians. Mm. I'm a bad person. Only a little. Incoming call. Oh. Not a number I know. It's 214. I don't know which zip code that is or area code. Uh, okay, so to start off with, all the pants are pretty much the same thing. Yeah. It's uh, just, armor damage, armor damage. It seems like a. So when you get down aesthetic. here, yeah, you, when you get down here, you start seeing that they have different things. So the warrior is fury based. Fury. Uh, the monk is, which is why I think it's kind of odd that the monk has a skirt, but the monk, uh, is discipline based. This is also discipline based. Fury. Which is not a lot of options. Well, I guess they could. So your, your mage sorcery. is going to be sorcery. God, you do not get a lot of options for a mage in, on the lower level. No, team. and then like, as you go up in levels, more of these panels open up with more options to buy at the store and whatnot. All right. So long as they have some sort of future options. Because I, I don't know what the maximum level for this game is, but... See, and then here's your robe. I think, did I pick one of those up? No. I'm going to upload it. We're going to have a three three episodes up at one every day for, for a little bit. That could be something. That could be something. It just means i got to remember to do it. <laughs> um. Wait, was that... Did that say epic mediocrity? Where? Do you uh, even know where I was when it's when you saw that? No, I think it was the one that has like the heart looking thing, the peach the one that's fifty. Down. Down. Over. Over. No. What was the one that said mediocre? You know what? I'll look at it in in, You're in have post. To. Uh so here's some of your hats. I love the octopus. I like the fact that you can see what it look yeah. Octopus. Oh, it's a wallapoose. Well, and it's even funnier because you can see a little black on there. Yeah, wallapoose. I'd, I'd put the mouse there, but if I put it there, it's going to disappear. So, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, but I like the fact that you can see what it looks like on their head. Yeah. 
Oh look, there's some a, weapons. That's a light aspect. Hat. Here's here, here's the one that you liked. Octopus. I don't know what it is with this game and octopuses, but there you octopus. go. Octopus. Um, I don't know what it is with me and octopuses. Look at the little blue. Uh, Octopusasia or Octopasia. It's a Louis C.K. bit. He's talking about uh, penises. <laughs> and he's talking about the, the plural for penis. And he's like... Would it be penis eye? That's what I would think. Or peni. I could see it being peni. Um, but he's like... I don't care if I walk outside and two, see two guys on their porch sucking each other's re respective panasia. <laughs> so these face ones actually don't add. It's you me. It's all appearance. Ah, uh, it's all aesthetics from there. Yes. So this character that you made, yes. Lazulite, is um, based off of your role, one of your roleplay characters. It is. Um, who is a vampire. She's not really a vampire. Um, she started out in a campaign that was based off of uh, like a dragon lance. That's how the DM kind of worked their world to be. Mm -hmm. So when she took her mage's test, she got cursed. She she gained her curse. But the thing is, is that the mage couldn't dis or the 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 DM couldn't decide. So. They made it two ways. When I made her, my intention was that she was going to be a necromancer. Okay. Um, and then the DM decided, because I, I was getting frustrated because it's like she was trying to trap me into something and I kept working it around other ways. And finally, just out of frustration of the test that she had me in, uh, I decided to throw off a fireball. And when I did that, the DM decided that she had two curses. Um, one of them is the fact that she's like a fire em elemental. Right. Oh, you need to talk and work. The other... Well, that's what she's there for. Well, you're also timed. No, it counts down. I have to live that long. Ah. Uh, the other was that she, she, she reads thoughts whether she wants to or not. Uh, that'd be very bad around some of my characters. They have some very weird thoughts. Right, and, and that's a th that, that was a thing with her, too. Um... So now she's become this like high romancy necromancer kind of character. Dealy. Right. Get that get that necromancy jams. Yeah. With a bad attitude. Well, yeah, if you could read everyone's thoughts, you'd have a bad attitude too. And then because of the fact that she has that fire element, uh, when I was role playing with her and stuff, uh, she ended up moving Rats. into a town that thank you was headed up by a vampire, which, of course, that vampire had issues with fire, and figured the best way around that was to befriend her, because he figured out pretty quickly on that she could kill him if she wanted to. Yeah. So, he did that, and then the thing about her is is that she she has very little interest in most uh, social things. Uh-huh. Um, but vampires are usually paired out as very social creatures. Well, and she's not. Um, she likes doing her studies, her experiments, which is where, you know, that whole necromancy yeah. thing comes from. But what happened was is so that she wouldn't have to be annoyed with things like sleeping, eating. Uh, she was ghouled at that point. And then she had been a ghoul for so long. Well, it sounds like she's goulden. She is goulden. Golden years. Is it just me or do those little mud balls <clears throat> look like troubles when they're rolling? They, yeah. The trouble with trebles. You finished. I did. So to to kind of touch on the uh, uncontrolled mind reading thing, I, I've always loved the idea of uncontrolled mind reading, just because one one of the things that I back when I was really into watching a bridge series is is, is, is series I Sir, series I. Um, I... Hey, we got a robe. <laughs> I, uh... And it's locked. And you can't use it yet. It's kind of cool looking, though. Yeah. We'll never be able to use it. It's a monk robe. Really? Yeah. Discipline. God damn it. It even says Hocus but, Pocus on it. But... We can do this. Fuck yeah, so, do it. Um... Back when I was really big in a, a bridge series... Um, I, I, I was shown this one of My Little Pony, and I'll figure out which one it is. Well, at least one, add one to each. Yeah. Open them up, you know. I'll, I'll figure out which one it is and then put 
some sort of like annotation to the part in it.